Namaste. My name is Zara Ma'am from Sanskriti School. Today children, I am going to narrate a very interesting story. And the story's name is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Hmm, so are we ready to listen to the story? Yes? Okay, so let's start. In a dense forest, they lived in a little cottage, the family of bears. Father bear, mother bear and baby bear. And what a pretty cottage it was. It had bright pink curtains and pretty red rugs and lovely flowers growing outside. Now the bear family, they loved to eat porridge. Mmm, yummy porridge. And Mama Bear made it every day. Mama Bear, is the porridge ready? Oh yes, it is. Ah, I am just going to bring it to the table. Oh, that smells nice. Mmm, yummy, nappy porridge. But, you know, the porridge is very hot and it will certainly burn my tongue if I eat it now. What shall we do now? Hmm, it is such a beautiful day. Let us go for a walk in the forest. And when we return, the porridge should have cooled down by then. Hmm, oh, I love to go for a walk. Maybe I will find some honey to lick. Hmm, let's go mama, let's go papa. And the bear family went out into the forest for a walk. Hmm, look for the bear necessities, the simple bear necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean the bear necessity, oh mother nature recipe that bring the bear necessity of life. Mm -hmm. La 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 and the bear family went out in the forest for a walk. Now on the edge of the forest there lived a young girl who had beautiful long golden hair and everyone called her Goldilocks. She loved to spend time in the forest with little animals. Mm, one morning she got ready as usual to go out. Mother, I am going for a walk in the forest. Oh, Goldilocks, see if you can find some berries. There, we will make some nice berry pie for dinner tonight. But don't go too far. I have heard there are some bears living in the forest. Yes, mummy. Don't worry. Oh, berry pie. I love them, mummy. And I will be back soon. La, la, la. La, la, la. After walking for some time, Goldilocks thought that she was lost in the forest. She was tired walking. Soon, she saw a pretty, pretty cottage. She went near and peeked through the window. I wish I can rest here for some time. Hmm, I'm so tired. Let me see. Hello, hello, anyone there? There doesn't seem to be anyone around. Slowly, she went inside and looked around. There, on the table, Goldilocks saw three bowls. 
that had porridge in them. This is a nice big bowl. I wish I have some porridge. I am so hungry. I will have porridge from this big bowl. Oh, it is so hot. I think I have burnt my tongue. Oof, 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 oof. Then she tried the medium size bowl. Mama Bear's bowl. This is too cold. It is not tasting nice. No. Then she went to the last bowl. Which was the smallest. I think. Mmm. This is a yummy yummy porridge. I like this porridge. I hope no one will mind. Mmm. I am so hungry. Yummy 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 yummy. After having the porridge. Goldilocks started feeling sleepy and drowsy. I think I will rest here for some time and then go home. Then she went towards the Papa Bear's chair and she tried to sit on it. Oh, this chair is too big. It is not at all comfortable. No, I don't want to sit on this big chair. Then she tried the mama bear's chair. Hmm, let me try this one. Oh, oh, oh. This is so hard. I don't like this chair too. Then she tried the baby bear's chair. Wow, this chair looks nice. It is so comfortable. It is just right. Let me sit. Oh, 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 oof, and the chair broke. Oh, the chair broke. Then Goldilocks went upstairs and she saw Papa Bear's bed. Wow, this is such a big bed. I can sleep and rest here for some time. Oh, but it is too hard. I cannot sleep on it. Then she went towards the mama bear's bed. Oh, let me try this one. This is so soft. I am not comfortable. And then she went to the baby bear's bed. Wow, such a nice bed. Let me try this one. Oh, wow, this is so cozy. And it is just right. Wow. And soon Goldilocks went to sleep for some time. Hmm. Soon the bears came home. And what did they see first? Oh, someone has entered the house. Oh, the door is open. Let us check. They quietly went inside the house. Oh, let me check if someone has come. The papa bear saw the porridge. Oh, someone has been drinking my porridge. The mama bear said, Someone has been drinking from my porridge, from my bowl too. And the baby bear said, Mommy, someone has already finished my porridge. Where is all my porridge gone, Mommy? Then they went towards the chair. And what did Papa Bear say? Someone has been sitting on my chair. Mama Bear said, Someone has been sitting on my chair too. And the baby bear, when he saw the chair, Mommy, see, my chair is broken. It is broken, Mommy. Who is sitting on my chair? Oh, then they all three started thinking and they went upstairs. And then Papa Bear said, Someone has been sleeping on my bed. Mama Bear said, Someone has been sleeping on my bed too. Baby Bear said, Mommy, look, look. Someone has been sleeping in my bed. And 
she is still sleeping. Mommy, look, she's sleeping in her bed. And when they said this, who Goldilocks? She woke up. She saw the three bears. And what happened? She got scared. She got scared and she jumped out from the bed, looking at the three bears. And Goldilocks did not stop running. She ran as fast as she could. And she reached the home. And she didn't imagine that the cottage which she was resting belonged to the bears. And she soon reached home and told her mother about the bears. And she had dropped all the berries which she had collected for the pie. And she promised her mother, Mommy, now I will never go to find the forest. I promise you. And she hugged her mother tight. So this was the story about Goldilocks and the three bears. So did you enjoy my story children? Yes. Until next time we meet again. Please listen to more stories. And we will meet soon. Goodbye.